I'm at the point now where I'm getting very tired of most harem comedies. Most of them don't offer anything new to the viewer. There's nothing that can set them apart from one another. I was pleasantly surprised when I decided to check out a manga that initially appeared to be going down the harem route, but quickly turned into something much more. The manga is quickly approaching its end, but I was ecstatic when an anime adaptation was announced. While not completely covering the series, the anime adaptation of Masamune Kun's Revenge was a delightful comedy that captured the essence of the manga perfectly. I'm Banana Owens, and this is an Otaku Youth Anime Review. When he was a child, the chubby Masamune formed a close relationship with Aki, a beautiful and wealthy girl. However, one day she rejected him and cruelly gave him the nickname Pigsfoot. In a spite of revenge, Masamune changed his name and began working out in order to become fit and handsome, with the sole goal of getting Aki to fall in love with him so that he can reject her in the same embarrassing way. At first glance, this appears to be the perfect setup for a typical harem, but this never comes to be. Despite being tempted by love, Masamune never loses sight of his goal of Aki. At certain points, he even turns down several girls that express an interest in him. Much of the comedy of the series derives from Masamune's attempt to crack the frozen interior that is Aki's heart. The interactions between these two characters are the driving force of the series, but in typical anime fashion, there is a tendency to break up the action when things are just starting to get good. However, the story is excellent in terms of dealing with Anki's constantly fluctuating emotions, and given some of Masamune's actions, her indecisiveness at times is perfectly understandable. This revenge-style plot is largely assisted by the excellent characters. Anki is the most uninteresting of the bunch, being the typical Ice Queen, but even she has some moments that are guaranteed to please the viewer. Despite Masamune's actions being solely for revenge, he is actually quite likable in comparison to the cold Aki. I actually found myself rooting for him to succeed with his plan, but my favorite aspect is his ability to avoid some typical anime tropes. When he is put on the spot, he manages to come clean immediately rather than extending the drama, which is typical in most romantic comedy anime. The plot is further bolstered by the cast of excellent side characters. There is the stereotypical trap that always manages to be entertaining, but my two favorites are Yoshino and Neko. Yoshino is Aki's servant who quickly deduces that Masamune seeks revenge, but in a twist of fate, she actually helps Masamune with his plot. She maintains a clumsy appearance to hide her extremely smart nature. She is often a source of comedy due to the sheer ridiculousness of her calculations in helping Masamune. For instance, one episode sees her lying to Aki in order to get her to wear a cosplay outfit out on a date. This is just one example of her calculating but fun demeanor. Neko is my favorite character of the series. Despite being frail, she manages to give great life advice to Masamune and also aware of his plot regarding Aki. Despite this, she genuinely loves Masamune but with a more seductive twist. She actually makes some legitimate moves on Masamune, which is very refreshing compared to what typically happens in this sort of anime. Overall, the plot and characters were the highlight of this series. In terms of animation, Masamune Kun's Revenge is mostly mediocre. The backgrounds are bland and the character movement can be stiff at times. There is a bright aesthetic to the show, but even this can't hide some of the flaws of the animation. Despite this, there are some aspects that are brilliant. The facial expressions of the characters are an absolute highlight, and I think the animators did a great job in capturing some of the beautiful expressions from the manga. The character design is also excellent. For example, the animation perfectly captures Yoshino's differing personality types. The animation from when she is acting as the servant portrays her as me, but when her calculating side comes to the forefront, the design makes her appear strong. Despite these moments of brilliance though, the animation is not likely to impress. In regards to the sound design, the only highlight is the voice acting. The voice actors have an excellent sense of comedic timing and manage to portray the different personalities of the same characters perfectly. Masamune can come across as charming while also being extremely devilish. The same can also be said for Yoshino. The voice actors comes across as shy and timid but then can switch to the more dominating personality without a moment's hesitation. The music has some hits and misses though. During some of the more important scenes, the music manages to impress. One particular scene of Neko comes to mind. However, the music can also be highly generic, making this aspect of the show a rather mixed bag. Overall, the animation is mediocre and the sound design has some ups and downs. I absolutely adored Masamune Kun's Revenge, so much so that I hope the series is eventually completely adapted. The story and the characters involved make this an enjoyable series to watch. The voice acting also brings life to these characters. However, the animation and music prevents the series from being anything more than good. For that reason, I give Masamune Kun's Revenge my watch rating. I'll be back next week for another review, and thanks for checking this one out.